Hey all friends, welcome back to the channel, Bob here, and uh, just a little update, I've done a video for uh, over a week now, I've just been through a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty brutal time health-wise, um, yeah, and just, just I haven't, haven't even played um, anything pretty much, I haven't even gone to my computer, which, uh, which anyone who knows me will tell you that that, you know, that's when you know when you're really ill. <laughs> when you don't, when you you don't even go on your computer. So yeah, um, that's why there hasn't been a video for I guess over a week or so now. Um, but kind of picking up again, you know. So hopefully, um, yeah, will be videos will be a bit more regular. Um, back in EverQuest, um, I've just got level thirty nine actually. So I started mucking around yesterday again. Um, and you know what? I haven't even learned my new spells yet. I've just continued on killing um, guards. I've changed towers. I didn't want to show you the same tower again, so I've changed towers. Two guards here. One's level 30. Guard Justin is level 39. Uh, 35, sorry. Um, and he's a bit of a beast. You've got to be, you've got to be careful. I basically... Ah, jeez. Um, I will basically try and keep him rooted at all times. Um... I do like normally I enjoy um mixing up with a bit of melee and stuff, but um, you know, I mean I mean if you're unlucky, you know, which seems to be quite often, um, you know, he he he'll take a, a red bubble in health just in one round. So, you know, I try to I try to avoid it because uh, it just makes it much harder than trying to keep the uh you know, keep the camp going. Um in in good time. Um yeah, but the the, the but the good thing about um, guard Justin, when you, when you can get to the, the these level mobs, is I, I got a bo I got a, a box of um, Abu Car, which uh, was one of the kind of smaller um, things I had on my on my bucket list to do, and um, and I've managed to do that. I didn't get a video of it. I got it yesterday. Um, I'd like to have done, but you know, that's just not how it works out uh, sometimes. Um, yeah, the box is like a well drop from. Um, oh, here we go. It always happens. You just cast a spell. Ah, jeez. I think I'm going to root him and then back off and do it. Just don't want to take the don't want to take the damage if I don't have to. He's got a lot of hit points as well, obviously, as you would expect. My pet will not last long, um, which is my bad actually, because I'm obviously using a level 34 pet. I got 39 and I was just so caught up in what I was doing. I didn't do my, I didn't, uh, yeah, learn my new spells. But we'll have a look in a minute. Yeah, so a box of Abu Kar is a world drop um, from level 35 mobs. It does get patched out, so, you know, try and get there if you can. Um, as you can see, it's a lore item, but it's not no drop. 100% um, weight reduction and it's 10 capacity and it's giant. Um, items you can put up to in there as well so yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty awesome um, it's a pretty awesome thing to have and it's just a world drop you know I I mean I was really lucky I when I started yesterday I kind of got the drop from Justin um, oh it must have been in, in like a few kills I think probably I haven't seen one since then and I've been here for about a level or so now but yeah maybe just lucky um, it's funny with the with the world drops. I mean, I'm um, I, I'm trying to think of um, games similar to EverQuest that have got it in. I'm sure maybe World of Warcraft had it, but like, world drops is something that sh I think all games should have <laughs> because it just makes it just so much more interesting when you're just out fighting anything. You know, I mean, give them a small chance to drop, like the box, for example. But yeah, just just. Uh, um, and you have to be you have to be killing mobs at level thirty five. But I think at all levels, like 10, 20, 30, 40 or whatever, yeah, there should every MMO should have uh, these world drop things. It just makes things just so much more interesting. Um, you know that jeopardy of will you get the drop or not? Yeah, just uh, just very cool. Um, and I got the box. I kind of um, I'm not sure when it get, gets patched out, but I did um, I did um, want to get one on the Enchanter because it obviously makes more sense from a weight from a you know, weight point of view and a strength point of view. But I thought maybe I've still got time. Um, if not, I can always pass it over to him. Um, uh, for, yeah, from this character. Uh, yeah, but you don't have to come here. It's literally any level 35 mob, I think, or above has a chance of dropping one. Um, 
yeah, so if you get the chance, uh, you haven't got one yet, yeah, just go and camp, camp a couple of mobs about that level until you get a drop. Or, you know, give it, why not? Give it a go. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm back in back in EverQuest. And um, let's have a look at these spells here. Oh, so nice. I get Chloroplast. I get a new regen. Um, my spell book is a real mess at the moment. But that's fine. Chloroplast doubles the um, my regen from 5 to 10. What else have we got? Toggles. I'm not really using much in the way of um, slows at the moment. Uh, you could, I guess, you could slap a, a slow on uh, Justin if you want, but I just save the mana and just try, try and keep him, um, try and keep him rooted. Deafness is, um, I think, deafness is. I think that's, um, geez, I think it's the dexterity, I believe. Uh, but I'll test that out. What else have we got? Furious strength, a new strength buff, that's always good. I'm, not, I'm normally terrible with my spell book, like real kind of like OCD, um, but I just haven't really got into that. Oh, Venom of the Snake. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice new dot. Okay, we'll test these out on a Asson in a minute. Uh, probably want to be quicker than I am because <laughs> I don't want Justin to spawn again. Uh, it, it's not too hard to um, it's not too hard to break them, but insidious malady. There, there is a there is a third dot that we get. I must confess, I've never used it before. Um, I'm not sure if it stacks. It's, it's, it's an area effect dot, and I'm kind of wondering if it's worth using as an extra dot. Uh, 44 frenzied spirit. I just bought all of my pet spells. Um, for, well, why not? Let's just bunk that there for now. I'll recast my pet in a minute, but what we'll do is we will we'll put chloroplast on. Oof. Wow, that's a lot more mana than regen, but that's fine. That's life. Let's see how much damage. I've, I've, I've used these spells so many times, leveling so many shaman, but I never remember the numbers. Let's see what sort of numbers Venom of the Snake does. I wonder if I'll only need to cast one, um, one of them. Okay, so it does 40 initially, as opposed to 30. So let's just see... Uh, yeah, let's just see how much that does. I don't have too much to report other than that, other than that I'm just kind of back playing and hoping hopefully videos will become a bit more um, regular. I've still got my plans that I had to do, um, you know, to kind of create myself a mini studio and to maybe try and take these things a bit more seriously, you know, teach myself some video editing and stuff, see how it goes. Um, Yes, yeah, so if you like watching the videos, you'll you'll benefit from that <laughs> at some point. Yeah, that's a nice dot. Look at that. Ooh, that's really nice. I don't think I'm even going to. Um, I don't think I'm even going to bother casting a second one. Nice. Let's see what the mana ratios are like, shall we? Uh, in a sec. So it's a really nice dot on level 34 mobs. Level 30 mobs, just stick one on, and that's it. 160? I think I was using Envenom Breath before, 100. So, okay, for 60 more mana, it's kind of only needing to cast one spell. So I'm definitely saving myself some, definitely saving myself some, um, uh, yeah. Um, I'm more efficient, which is what I, which is what I like. Um, yeah, what, what I'm, I'm planning on kind of like when I do, I mean, a lot of you, m most of you may not be interested in this kind of stuff, but I, I enjoy watching videos of, of a similar sort. So I will, um, so I'll kind of do some recordings of it, but it will kind of be, I'll kind of go through like the equipment I've got that I'm going to get for the studio type thing. Maybe I'll kind of do some sort of, you know, um, 
terrible. Unless I can get myself a decent camera before I do it, you know, get you know, like get do myself maybe do like a, a build video of building the equipment and what I'm using and all that kind of stuff because I always find that quite interesting. I know I said before in a video, sometimes it feels a bit like willy waving, you know, and um, some people don't like that kind of thing, but uh, we'll see how we go. Zobabab. Okay, so my, my pet, my, 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 my level 34 pet, the max hit was uh, 30 damage, so I'll see what um, Zobabab does. Um, yeah, so I was planning on doing some videos of that as well, so you can see the equipment I'm using and how I build PCs, probably incorrectly, but I've been doing it for a while and I've got my own little ways of doing it. Um, and that's it really, I think the only other thing, it's just an update, but the only other thing I think I was going to cover was um, just kind of going over the merger stuff a little bit more, you know, just with regards to listening to what you, you've been saying. Um, and listening to you know reading the forums again just picking up on stuff and I don't, I think, don't think there's too much to add to what I said in the previous video um, about it you know you get there's all you always get I mean on both sides of the fence you get these conspiracy theory type things and you know you get people who kind of feel that it's personally been done to them <laughs> you know out of some dislike that like, Rogan or someone has for them on the dev, dev team, even though they've got no idea who they are. You just get that in anything, I think. You know, it's kind of unavoidable. Um, yeah, but I kind of... I haven't really changed my mind. I kind of feel a similar way to what I did before. Um, I don't think it would have hurt just to let things go for a bit longer. Um, and I feel that the only people who benefited from it really were the people who could camp stuff on both, you know, uh, but that's that. As I said before, that's that's life. The only other thing I've found, I've noticed, like reading. Between, some people say it outright, reading between the lines. And I, and I kind of, I guess, you know, from from doing videos previously before, like the uh, uh, the one I did about soloing and being an introvert and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, it, it is that. I guess when it comes to like camping stuff and that kind of thing, I don't know if it's like an age thing or. I guess it's probably a combination of lots of different things, personality thing, um, age thing, and uh, and whatnot. Yeah, but I think that um, I think you kind of reach a point, or some people are just just like it. You know, as I said, I've had comments and stuff along similar lines where they kind of they enjoy playing the game, they enjoy being in the world, they love the EverQuest the mechanics and stuff, but they just don't like the confrontation of 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 the camps, and I and I think that. That's a, a valid point, you know. I know that people will say, well, you know, you shouldn't be playing EverQuest then. But what I say to that is uh, get stuffed, <laughs> basically. You know, we all play games for different reasons and they're all parts of it that we that we don't like. And I think it's perfectly valid to to enjoy the game but not enjoy the, the conflict and the... You know, and and you know, and the and the, the danger and the socialising, um, um, you know, and, and what can be like toxic, uh, but also like to be fair, you know, all can also be good experiences. You know, I'm sure many of you out there have had good experiences grouping and just with people at camps. But yeah, I just think that there are some people out there, and I kind of consider myself like that in some way. Um, and I think it is, it is more of an age thing with me than anything else, where I just don't just don't want the hassle anymore. You know, that's that's the thing. You know, it's a uh, I enjoy playing the game. I'd like to go to a camp um, and camp an item um, and have fun doing it. You know, but I just think that I just think that with I think we've I think we've reached a point. I'm pretty sure it wasn't any different before, but I think what's uh, okay. So I might only need to use a, two venom of the snakes on Justin. And I think I was using like at least three, possibly four of the earlier ones. So yeah, so this is definitely made the killing more efficient. I didn't see what my pet was doing damage-wise, so I'll have to check that shortly. Yeah, but 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 and but I think yeah, I think this is and I think it's perfectly valid. I think I think you know you reach a point, or maybe you're all, you've always been that person where you enjoy EverQuest, you enjoy the mechanics, you love the world, you love the immersion, you enjoy playing the game, but you just don't like that particular side of it. You know, and I don't think that means that you should go and play something else. Um, I think invariably it just means that you probably need to be a bit more patient. You need to find your your niche or whatever it may be 
somewhere um, and if that somewhere becomes crowded you know or let's see if we can see how much damage he's doing he does just that they my, my my level 34 pet was missing just in a lot <laughs> so there's a 25 20 double 26 I just like to see what the pet because sometimes it's weird I think there's a crossover where the lowest level pet for the higher level spell um, is the same or maybe a level lower than the highest level pet from the previous level spell so it could just be that Justin's AC is quite high but so far the max is 26 um, seems to be hitting a bit more though there we go it'd be interesting to see, I mean obviously it's going to have more hit points and stuff I think but it'd be interesting to see what the max damage is I think the max damage pet I had um, with the level 34 spell was doing I'm sure I saw a 32 but it may have been 30 so if 26 is this pet's highest attack um, then yeah this level 39 pet will be at the lower level one because as you get level ranges it's two levels lower damage wise than um, my previous one yeah but I'll do some more testing um, Asson's probably got lower AC so we might get um, might see a max hit you know that's higher but yeah that was the only thing that I really um, uh, the only the only extra thing I was kind of talking about really with regards to the merger you know and um, and kind of uh, I, mean, I think you know when you suggest things like about I think I had one comment about it you know kind of like like a whiny like oh well you're only angry because you can't get the items you want you know go and play wow or something <laughs> that kind of you know childish kind of uh, um, attitude towards those kind of things where you can't kind of discuss if, if your opinion is not the same as theirs it must mean that you're wrong and you're whining or you're a troll that's that's quite a common thing I think particularly on somewhere like Twitter um, and social media in general but yeah that's what that's uh, that's uh, donkey bollocks that that's what I say to that um, that's a swear word there I should probably shouldn't have done that <laughs> um, yeah maybe I'll get demonetized or something um, but yeah I, I just think that um, people, we should all play as we want you know and if there are certain things we don't like about the game um, even if it's a even if it's a um, you know a crucial part of the experience that's fine just carry on playing I say to all you people who are a bit put off by the merger and you and you just you're not the sort of person who likes those that conflict at camps that you get even that positive conflict you know um, you know just stick at it just just I think you just be you know you'll have to be more patient but just if you enjoy the game just stick at it and play you know eventually you might not get your mana stone or whatever but you know um, I think once things like um, uh, when Kunark comes out, I think some some camps will ease here, because I think initially people will will rush Kunark to get the stuff they want, and and you know the the main continent here will be will be quieter. So I would just recommend, yeah, just sticking with it. Be, you have to be more patient. Maybe you've got to wait a year or whatever, but you know, um, level up your character, um, you know, and if there's stuff you want when you go to the camp and you don't want to get involved in the conflict of camping yeah just do something else for a time then come back again that's what i'm that's what i'm going to do anyway that's it for now um just a short update hope you've enjoyed it and i'll speak to you again soon